Hi, we're going to take you on a quick tour of the BizManuals on Policy system. The three user roles in the system, one for editors, the ones who create the documents, the readers, the ones who are using the documents, and the admin, the one that sets up permissions and feature access control. All right, this is the screen you see when you first log in. This is the editor screen or an admin role. You'll notice there's a dashboard on the left, there's announcements right in the center, and then surrounding you have got some pull-down commands, you've got document search in the lower right, the lower left the ability to switch to a reader view, more on that later, and then document controls at the top uh, moving around from one part of the program to the other. The dashboard is the, it lists the documents you have available in the system, open tasks, required reading, documents that you may be following. So documents basically are the main parts of the system. These are your Word documents, your open office documents, could be actually any file that you want to put in the system to be released to your readers. Tasks are action items awaiting your input. So it could be a draft or a review uh, waiting for you. Required reading or documents waiting you, you, you need to read. You need to see what uh, they are and you have to show that you've read them. And the documents you follow are the important documents you're using often, and so you kind of put them in your own parking lot, individualized for each person. Announcements, uh, great for that upcoming audit or some kind of document change you need everybody to know about. So you create an announcement. There's a window at the bottom listing all the information. Of course, only editors can create documents, and you do that with a little plus sign to the right, uh, the pencil for editing, or the X if you want to delete that announcement. Let's say you're done with it. That top right pull down menu, quick way to jump to wiki for help, or you just want to log out. But let's say you need to search for find a file. Enter in a keyword in the lower right, and this will bring up search results. Plus, on the left, you have the ability to filter those results, find something you're specifically looking for. Now, that reader view, remember, as an editor, you're looking at far more documents, 23 in this case, in the system, than might be released. There's a lot of documents you could be working on. Notice here when we switch to reader view, there's only 11 documents that have been released, and it's an abbreviated login screen. The documents themselves, you'll see only 11 from human resources. Yet when we were on the other screen, there were a lot more than 11 in other departments. So readers basically can view a document, you click on the binoculars, or that little document symbol is to look at document details. Here we'll see who's released this document, the date it was released, its effective date, and a short description. Great for answering those auditor questions. So now we're back to the editor view. Notice 23 documents. So at the top we have navigation. And the navigation tabs, of course, allow you to move around. Most important for admin to, to click on the, the configuration settings, but also to look at reports. Let's go take a look at the documents. This is really the screen that houses our main working area, and you'll see we have a number of documents available in different departments. That's in the tree on the left. If you click on, you can expand those departments and see in human resources, there's two categories available. Here's a specific document. To the right, if we want to delete any document, you click on the X, but you can't delete a release document because that's, if once it's been released to your readers, we have to keep track of it and archive it. But let's go into document details. Let's say you want to edit the document. In here we have the metadata, describes the document title, description, and what department and group we're going to assign it to. There's a workflow for releasing documents. If you need them to be reviewed and approved, you submit the draft. If you don't need a document reviewed and approved, quick release. Just get it out. Send it to your readers immediately. Down below we keep track of every single revision. Every time you edit or change the document, it's kept. Of course, you can delete those anytime. Each revision can be individually edited. You just by click on, on the download, it'll download it to your system. But if you've got Java enabled, it'll automatically launch Word, and you can immediately start editing, and changes will be saved right back into the database itself. Word is definitely the way you want to go with Java. And then we have a second set of menu commands here for permissions and other related miscellaneous information. One of the more important ones required reading. If you've got that, let's say that sexual harassment policy that you need everybody to read, make it so that you, click, you select all 
and now it'll show a list of all the people who've read it, what the status is. And when you're done, save and close, and you're out. Add a new document, just follow the selection menus to your hard drive, or there's a video help right here in the system. Click on video help, get access to more help. Well, that's a quick overview of on policy. Policy and procedure management made simple. Thanks.